In previous videos, I've talked about how our goal is to describe the entire population. So we want to be able to confidently express what are called population parameters, characteristics that measure or uh, describe the population. But in order to do this, we would have to get our data from the entire population, and that's very challenging to do. So instead, we are stuck with recording our data from samples, and so a characteristic or your characteristics of samples are called statistics. So we rely on our sample statistics to point the way, to give us an indication as to what's really going on in the unknown, unreachable, unrecordable population. Now, for the most part, this works very well. Your entire course is based upon all of the methods that are used to get samples to tell us about what's happening with populations. But samples cannot do a perfect job. Because samples don't include the entire population, we can expect that there's going to be some discrepancy. There's going to be some error. If in my sample I see that the average, let's say I take a sample of people's ages. I want to, I want to know what, what is the average age at the university. And so I take a sample where we've got uh, 100 people in our sample. Certainly not everybody who attends the entire university. Out of my 100 people, I might get an average age of something like uh, 22.3 years old. Now in the population, that might not be the case at all. Maybe the time of day that you take classes doesn't really coincide with when the older graduate students take classes. And so maybe the actual average is much higher. Maybe the actual average is 24.8 years old. But you don't have too many graduate students in your study, and so you've got younger students giving your sample a younger result. Now there's a difference between your statistic and the population parameter. This discrepancy, the difference between these two values, uh, what would that difference be? The Let's see, this is 24.8, this is 22.3. There's a difference of about 2.5 years. This is called a sampling error. Now, it's not as though you've done your math wrong, or it's not as though you've collected your sample wrong. It's just that we expect because we're using samples, because we're using a limited look at the entire population, we're not going to get the right answer. There's a certain expected error when you use a sample statistic to try and get at descri describing the population parameter. The only way to avoid sampling error is to use the entire population to begin with. But like I said, and like I've said throughout a number of these videos, we can't normally do that because populations are too large, too difficult to observe and record directly. So sampling error is going to be sort of a necessary evil as we learn the techniques for using statistics to point the way to what we think is happening with our populations.